Titus, Titus 1, Paul, a servant of Yahuwah, and an apostle of Yahusha HaMashiach, according to the belief of Yahuwah's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is in the fear of Yahuwah, in hope of eternal life, which Yahuwah, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but has in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me, according to the commandment of Yahuwah, our Savior, to Titus, my own son, after the common belief, grace, mercy, and peace from Yahuwah, the Father, and the Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, our Savior. For this cause left I you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed you. If any be blameless, the man of one woman, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly, for an elder must be blameless, as the steward of Yahuwah, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. There are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the belief, not giving heed to Yahudic fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know Yahuwah, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate.